in this video we will see sinusoids a sinusoid is a signal that has the form of the sine or cosine function so let's see sine and cosine function let's say this is a sine function The sine wave form will look something like this. So, this is a sine function, and let's say this is a sinusoidal voltage wave form. So, let's say it is V of T. and it is equal to vm sin omega t where vm is the maximum voltage omega is the angular frequency and t is the time so here on this x axis this is time t and here this will be vm that is maximum voltage And here on this negative side, this will be the Vm and it will be minus or negative and this will be 0. Now from here, the 0 to this one complete cycle, here this is the one complete cycle. After that, it is repeating again and again. So from here, the 0 to this point, it is T. It is called as time period t so if this is t so this will be t by 2 this will be 2t and this will be 3t so it is t by 2 it is t this will be 3 t by 2 then this will be 2t then next it is 5 t by 2 and this will be 7 t by 2. Now, in case of cosine function, the waveform starts from here. And in case of sine function, this is a sine function. So, it is starting from this 0. So, Vm sin omega t as a function of t. Now, we know that omega is equal to 2 pi f, where omega is the angular frequency. This omega is the angular frequency. In radian per second, this f is the frequency. f is the frequency and its unit is hertz or cycles per second also we know that time period t is equal to 1 upon f where this t is the period time period and this f is the frequency again now if we substitute this 1 upon t in place of this f then this will be omega is equal to 2 pi 2 pi by t in place of f we can substitute 1 by t here we can say this implies f is equal to 1 upon t now We can also say that t is equal to 2 pi by omega. Now, suppose here on this x axis, 
if we replace this t by omega t that means vm sin omega t as a function of omega t then let's copy this or uh, before that let's write when t is equal to 0 here we can see when t is equal to 0 that time this this implies omega t is equal to 0 when t is equal to t by 2 so when t is equal to capital t by 2 this implies omega t is equal to in place of omega we will substitute 2 pi by t so 2 pi by t and in place of this small t we will substitute capital t by 2 so this t and this t will get cancelled this 2 and this 2 will get cancelled so omega t is equal to pi next when t is equal to here it is 0 then t by 2 then next is capital t so when t is equal to capital t this implies omega t is equal to in place of this omega we will substitute 2 pi by t so 2 pi by t multiplied with now in place of this small t this will be capital t so this t and this t will get cancelled so therefore omega t is equal to only 2 pi then next is t is equal to 3 t by 2 so 3 t by 2 this implies omega t is equal to in place of omega again we will substitute 2 pi by t 2 pi by t multiplied with small t in place of a small t we will substitute 3 t by 3 t by 2 so it is equal to this 2 and this 2 will get cancelled this t and this t will get cancelled so only it remains 3 pi so likewise for all the other values so let's copy it from here and paste it here and let's replace all the first of all let's replace this t by omega t so when we replace this t by omega t then all the values will change from this x axis So here this will be 0 as it is, this will be pi, then this will be 2 pi, 3 pi, 4 pi, 5 pi, 6 pi and this will be 7 pi. So this is the Vm sin omega t as a function of omega t. Now next is, let's see the generalized expression for sinusoids. So the generalized expression, the generalized expression for sinusoid, it is V of t is equal to Vm sin omega t plus phi, omega t plus minus phi this positive sign represents that it is leading and this negative sign represent that it is lagging and this phi is the phase shift it is called phase shift now let's understand this general expression this vm is the maximum voltage it is the maximum voltage or we can say it is amplitude it is the amplitude this omega is the angular frequency again it is angular frequency when we multiply frequency with 2 pi then we get the angular frequency and its unit is radian per second and this is the time 
टाइम इन सेकंड एंड दिस इज द साइनोसॉइडल वोल्टेज नाउ लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड दिस जनरल एक्सप्रेशन एंड व्हाट इज दिस फेस शिफ्ट सो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड दिस विथ एन एग्जाम्पल लेट से देर आर थ्री वेव फॉर्म्स v1 of t v2 of t and v3 of t so first of all v of t v1 of t so it is let's say vm sin omega t and this v2 of t is vm sin omega t plus phi and vm sin omega t minus phi now here this positive sign represents that it is leading and here this negative sign represents that it is lagging so first of all let's draw v1 of t let's take the equal distance now here first of all we are drawing v1 of t and it is equal to vm sin omega t so it will look something like this and this is t or we can take omega t also as a function of omega t and let's say this is v1 of t or here we can write only v of t this is this represents v1 of t is equal to vm sin omega t then next let's draw v2 of t and it is equal to vm sin omega t plus phi so this phi plus phi representing that the waveform is starting from here so this this represents v2 of t and this distance is the phi and it is called phase shift this is called phase shift and here this is leading now next let's draw v3 of t and it is equal to vm sin omega t minus phi so it is minus phi that means let's say it is starting from this point so it will look something like this and this is v3 of t and this distance is again phi which is the phase shift so this is all about sinusoids thanks for watching and don't forget to share to this video